Michael Phalanx. I'm a professor of neurosurgery at the University of Toronto and I'm the uh, medical director of the Kremlin Neuroscience Centre at Toronto Western Hospital. I'm an uh, academic uh, spinal neurosurgeon, so I uh, focus on the care of uh, patients with spinal cord injuries and various complex disorders of the spine. And in addition to that, I uh, run an academic uh, program that's focused on translationally oriented research, both at the preclinical level in the laboratory as well as at the clinical level in terms of clinical trials. So I think one of the most exciting areas that's emerged in the last couple of years out of this research is a clinical trial called STASCIS, which is the Surgical Timing in Acute Spinal Cord Injury Study. And in a nutshell, this was a prospective multicenter study that examined the hypothesis that uh, early surgical intervention for patients with a, an acute cervical spinal cord injury would result in improved outcomes. And indeed, this is exactly what was shown. And in summary, uh, patients who underwent early surgical intervention within the first 24 hours after their injury had about a 20% improvement in their long-term outcomes. So one of the uh, questions that has arisen out of Astaskis is, well, what is it about these 20% of individuals that improved? Um, and is there a heterogeneity in terms of the patient presentation, and, and there certainly is. So which is the subgroup of individuals that seems to benefit the most? Which are the subgroups of patients that um, have a more challenging outlook after spinal cord injury? Um, how can we better understand these groups? How can we ultimately um, uh, influence uh, 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 the, out, the outcome? And so that's one key area. So in understanding the heterogeneity of patient uh, pre presentation, trying to tailor the treatments to be more specific around the individual. And then ultimately this will of course influence best practice and we hope also public policy decision making. So a critical component of, of any type of research relates to knowledge dissemination and then, the, and then trying to implement that knowledge in terms of the influence of best practice. And, and Staskis is a perfect example uh, of this. So the, the question itself was one that was of burning importance to clinicians around the world. So it, ha it has importance and it has practical meaning in that it could potentially influence the best practice around um, defining the appropriate time window in which patients should receive care and the type of care that they should have. And so currently, um, a very active area of interaction between our group and the uh, Recants Institute is looking at the um, implementation of the findings of the Staskis study um, into best practice. So Canada punches way above its playing weight in the whole area of neuroscience, the brain and the spinal cord, and certainly in spinal cord uh, injury. Uh, Canada is one of the world leaders, without question. And uh, the Rickanson uh, Institute is a key a part of that, as are uh, the, the various uh, universities across uh, the country. And um, I think Canada is also um, a very proactive in terms of the collaboration at a global level. We need to be because we have a relatively small population uh, base and so um, it's always been important for Canadians to reach out at a global level and to collaborate. We're in, in an exciting time in terms of the translation of discoveries from molecule to man. Probably 90% of what we know about spinal cord injury has been learned in the last two decades and we're now witnessing a remarkable era where we're starting to see the translation of those discoveries into the clinical setting. Staskis is but one example. We're going to be seeing a number of drug trials that will, will be emerging so we'll have better outcomes in terms of the, the acute phase of injury. And in addition, we're going to be seeing improved uh, integration across the continuum of, of care with one of the principles being that the, um, the timely application of evidence-based care will result in improved outcomes.